What is going on everybody, it's your boy Slap Train. Welcome back to Forza Horizon. This is the Road to 1000 Club. This is episode 32 and today we have a uh, subscriber requested car. This was on a personal message actually. And he sent me a message, his name is uh, Michael Wicknisky. And he says, hey Slap, you've been amazing as ever and don't want to waste your time. However, I'd love to see the Lamborghini Aventador in one of your upcoming videos. See ya and have a nice day. So, we're going to do it today. We have the 2012 Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. This car is a monster. Wonder what we're going to be doing on this thing. Alright. So, we have actually we have six challenges today. Damn, man. Okay, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, we have 180 skill, near misses, top speed, skilled road trip. Smash Trash and Festival Event. Who is making my damn noise in the party? Yo? Oh, you guys can't even hear it. Never mind. Never mind. All right, Smash the Trash Cans Festival Event. Uh, skill road. Let's do a skill road trip. Hell yeah, six point one miles. You know what? We fast travel on this bitch. But yeah, so what is going on, everybody? Hope you guys have been been enjoying your day. Uh, today is actually a holiday for me. If you, I'm probably gonna be posting this lit after the fact, but today is Canada Day. And uh, I'm going to be posting this probably on the Tuesday, so it's going to be a day late, but whatever. Canada Day is today, and uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of chilling, making some videos for you guys. Proud to be a Canadian, you know what I mean? Oh, what's the skilled road trip have to be again? Oh, look at that rear, oh man, that rear spoiler just comes out, so nice. Performing 10 drift skills along the way, holy shit. Let's do one right now. All I just have to do is just slide out, that's it. Well, that seems easy enough, doesn't it? Let's do another one right here. Just power slide this thing. Look at this. Let's go back to four. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. There's going to be ten coming up right here. Watch this. There we go. There's ten. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We got it. We got it. Oh, my God. Okay, so today, actually... I want to take a trip down memory lane with you guys. Now, a lot of you guys, um, I don't know how old a lot of you guys are in terms of the age group that watches, if it's guys, girls, or what, but... Oh, fuck! What? Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 downloaded? What do you mean? I wanted to play that game. That game looks dope, by the way. If you guys haven't seen that thing already on the dashboard, check that shit out. Um, I'm pumped to play it. I love any kind of sniper games. I mean, like, a lot of, like, the really in-depth simulator war games are really sick to play, especially those damn sniper games. I didn't play the Sniper 1, and I really wanted to play that game. Woo! Hold on. Excuse me, Viper. Appreciate it, sir. Get the fuck out the way. Oh! I felt that thing just, like, whiz by me. But, yeah, so, um, off topic, back to our topic now, is... Trip down memory lane. I don't know how I guess really old you guys are, but I wanted to kind of mention some games that you guys may or may not remember. And if you guys don't, then that's fine. Um, oh, it's a bus. I'm dead. There's no way I'm living that. Damn. That was probably the biggest bus I've ever seen in this game. Just mowed me down. <laughs> but yeah, so, um,. Trip down memory lane. Let's get to the uh, damn games I'm about to mention here. So first game, you guys may or may not remember. Oh, I almost made that. 25 to life. That game, I don't care what you say, that game was epic for its time. Now you guys got to remember, these are like PS2 games, all right? So PS2, for the time that it came out, was absolutely incredible. Or oh, we hit this big shit. Whoa! Oh, what? That's some bullshit. What the hell was that? All right. Let's go, Aventador. You need to pull on this damn outpost. But yeah, so 25 to life. Um, I'll give you a brief rundown on this game. Really, I mean, the campaign, I don't really even remember the campaign at all. But I do remember the online portion. And that was what I really loved about the game. Online. Alright, so 25 to life. You had fully customizable characters um, from head to toe. And they were... You were either the gang members or the cops, and you would kind of, it, it was like a third person SOCOM arcade style. Wait, what the hell was that for? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was my, oh, fuck. I gotta turn around, rip it. Go, 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 go. All-wheel drive engaged. 
Come on, Aventador. I'm so happy that you got some pull. All right, let's hit our top speed on here. Can I do it on here? Why does that brown or that van look like dirt? Um, oh, wait, I can hit it on here. Hold on. But yeah, so 25 of life, fully customizable characters. And it was like really online um, cops versus robbers. You had, I think, a certain few missions where to like protect the terrorists or the hostages and the cops had to bring them out. And it was like a deathmatch style as well too. So you had deathmatches and it was a lot of fun that game. And I highly recommend checking it out. There's probably not a lot of videos on that game just because it is so damn old. But, um, I mean, I think you guys would really enjoy that game though. And... That was probably one of my biggest games, I think, throughout my childhood. Next two, though, next two, Urban Chaos. Now, I remember the day clearly when I got the game and when I got hooked. Why am I not hitting top speed yet? Thank you. Um, oh, fuck. There we go. But yeah, I remember that day. Shit! Alright, you know what? We're just gonna hit this highway. What's the best way to hit this thing? We're going to hit this. Uh, yeah, we'll hit it right here. Actually, hold on. We'll see what else I got to do first. Top speed, smash shit. Beaumont. Where the hell's Beaumont? What the fuck? Hold on. We'll get back into the story in a second here. Um, there's Carson. Kettle Hills. Oh, there you are. Hello. I was, ju I was just in there, too. Oh, my God. There's another 10 grand down the drain. Alright, we gotta look for some trash cans right now. But yeah, so as I was saying though, um, Urban Chaos Riot Response Unit, I think it was a riot control or something like that. And that game was the sickest online game I think I've played for so long. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown on this game. Hold on, let me just figure out where the hell I'm going first. Excuse me, sir. Appreciate it. But yeah, so that game, um, it was a first-person shooter, and you had two sides. And now I'm I'm talking online because I, I only really played them online. As soon as I got online, it was done deal for me. That's all I ever played. Oh, look at all the trash cans. Hello. But yeah, so um, it was two-sided. You had your you had your riot response unit, and you had the burners. So the burners were like a riot gang, and um, each side had their own little uh, special ability. So T0 side, the cops, they had an ability to have a shield. Now the shield, of course, made them a lot slower. So once you put up the shield, you cannot use any of your guns, you cannot use any of your secondaries, um, but your shield would protect you, all right? So, now the burners, to counter that, they had the Molotov cocktails. Now the Molotov cocktails, it sounds overpowered, but the way that they made it was very discreet. And they didn't make it, oh what the hell, why did this take me down this road? Oh my god though. Alright, you know what, we're just gonna hit this fucking long ass strip because I'm tired of going everywhere but there. But yeah, so the burners, they had their Molotov cocktails and... What was really cool was that if you hit the burner's shield, or the t 0 shield, when it was up, they would burn to death. So it was like a game of cat and mouse, kind of. If you didn't have your shield up, it was very hard to hit you, but it was still possible, right? So, I mean, it wasn't something like, oh, you know, hey, uh, I'm going to just spam Molotov cocktails at you and beat you. It wasn't like that at all. It was, it was very... Like, it was very balanced at the way that it was a very enjoyable and fun. Now... That game I spent a hell of a long time on. I was ranked, I think, the highest I got on that game, no joke, was third in the world. Now, I'm not talking like about of like 100 people. I'm talking like there was like, I think like 30,000 registered players. And I think about maybe I'd say 10 to 15,000 consistent players online. Now, um, for back in PS2 days, that was a lot. I mean, that was a hell of a lot of cards. Whoa, why am I going on coming right now? This is crazy. But uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that game. I highly recommend checking that game out. Um, it was really nice though, because I mean, they gave each side a set of weapons where they could only use. So it wasn't like Call of Duty where you unlock attachments and all that shit. Um, but no, like the burners had like, uh, it was a 44 Magnum, which I used a lot. Um, they had like, they had a bunch of shit. It was a really sick game. I really enjoyed it. I miss it a hell of a lot. And I would love to go back and play that game online if I could, but. Um, it's just probably never gonna happen Now I gotta go to Beaumont to get this damn challenge, but I ain't hitting that again So I'm gonna do that race on my own time 
I'm going to end it off on this. Make sure you guys comment in the bottom if you guys played any of the two games that I mentioned. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some old school games on next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm going to cut this fool off quickly. It's your boy, the Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.